Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we are studying two very important functions called the split function and the split lines functions. So these functions are very useful when you are reading from a text file and you are using the read lines method. Now in the previous video we have studied that this method will return a list containing each line read from the file as one of its elements. Now the split and the split lines functions help you to break down this list in two different forms. Starting with the split function first. So when we use the split function, it breaks down the list that has been returned by the read lines function into multiple lists such that each list now contains each word of a line as its element. So let's go there one by one and understand this concept in detail. So for example, I have a file named myfile.txt and it contains two lines, mind your exam and the second line is YouTube channel. Okay. So when I apply the read lines function on it, I get this particular list. Now this list contains two elements. The first element is the line mind your exam, the string mind your exam with slash n at its end and the second element of this list is YouTube channel. Okay. Now, if I iterate over this list, the name of the list is lines and I uh, take one element at a time. So, for L in lines, this means that the iterator L will take each element one by one. So, in the first iteration, the value of L will be the string mind your exam, the first element of this list lines. Now, if on this string L I apply the split function, what will happen? The return value will be a list that will contain multiple elements such that each element will be a word present in the string mind your exam. Okay, so this uh, the iterator L consisted of the entire string mind your exam with the slash n character. But when we call the split function on this string L, the return value, the words uh, list will contain three elements. One, the first element will be the first word of string L, which is mine. The second element will be your and the third element will be exam. Okay. Now, uh, in the second iteration, the uh, string, the uh, sorry, the iterator L will take the second element YouTube channel as its value and uh, when we call the split function on this string, it will return a list which will have two elements. The first element of the return list will contain YouTube and the second element of the returned list will contain the value channel. Okay, So, the split function basically takes each line and splits it into the words that are present in that line. Okay, so all the words of a line are returned as separate elements of a list. So the first line consisted of three words The and in the first iteration, uh, the list will be returned containing three elements. And in the second iteration, when the second line will be split, the return value will be a list consisting of its constituent words YouTube and channel. Now what will happen or, or how will you uh, suppose you want to take this list that is returned by the read lines function and you want to split it line by line instead of splitting each line into words. Now in that case you use the split lines function. So again, we are opening a file myfile.txt in the access mode read. Then we are uh, calling the read lines function on it. In the read lines function will return a list. E that list will contain every line as one element. And so it contains two elements. Now, if we iterate over this list called lines, the iterator in the first iteration, the L will get the value mind your exam string and when I call split lines function on it this method will return a list which will contain only the first line as its single element and in the second iteration the second line will be returned 
as a single element okay so if you want to break the returned list that you have got from the read lines function line by line you use the split lines function okay each line that was present in the file will be returned as one element in a list as a single element list now if you want to further break those lines that have been uh, returned by the read lines method you use the split function instead okay so these are the two functions that help you to break the returned list that you have got from the read lines method of python programming language so that is all for today this will help you in iterating over the contents that you have read from the files and these functions can really become handy if you are writing long program codes Thank you for watching till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.